Uh, hi, my name's Steve Moore. I got started in the business uh, just working on farms growing up. I worked at Ray Romanetti's breeding farm in college and uh, I needed to find a job after college and he got me a job working for Dan Altmeyer grooming horses. I, I worked there for about a year and a half and decided not to go to Florida for the second winter. I went the first winter. So I got a job then in Ray Romanetti's stable and I had some money saved up. So in the November sales, uh, we bought Glister Hanover, was my first horse. He did pretty well. A couple weeks later, I got Victorious Justice. I owned a, a third of each of them. Uh, and they both did pretty well. So I uh, sold them the following November and uh, upgraded a little bit, got Miss Liv was my next one. Uh, also Pine Hall Lady and uh, from there hung on to those two and got two more just recently, Flashy Hanover and Justice Delight. So up to four now and they're doing well. It's working out, it's growing pretty quickly. I am uh, definitely a hands-on owner. Uh, in the barn every day. Uh, all the horses that I own a part of, I rub myself, I groom. Um, so getting them ready every morning, uh, bathing them sometimes. Uh, more often than not, I get off one and get onto the other. I jog them sometimes too. But uh, yeah, I like being in the barn every day. It's, uh, it's nice taking care of you know, the ones you own. Owning, a, owning just a third to start was uh, made it a lot easier to get into it because it's a big investment if you're buying the whole thing. But for me, I was able to get a third of two versus one cheaper one, you know. So it was nice to have the percentage because I get all the excitement watching them race. You know, at the top of the stretch, I'm not thinking about what percentage I own. I'm just hoping they come home, finish strong, get a nice check, or get the win. So I really like owning the smaller pieces. Uh, spreads it out a little more and get more bang for your buck, I think. It's nice being in the barn every day with, with Ray and Chip. I call them Chip, uh, Charlie, Pringle. It's the three of us, and uh, everybody works hard. Uh, it, everyone gets along really well. You know, it's a, it's a nice dynamic in there. Ray kind of oversees everything, and he, he lets us have a little freedom, and it's really nice to feel that way about the horses you own. You know, really makes that hands-on experience come full circle. Have, getting to feel like you have a little to do with the training also. Uh, I've been going back and forth about trying to get my trainer's license. Now we're waiting a little while. You know, everything's going so well, I don't really want to rock the boat. Um, just because it's, it's going so well, I don't want to change anything. But uh, down the road, I definitely see myself getting a trainer's license and training myself.